The government is looking to partner with local and international investors to fund its ambitious plan of injecting 5,000 megawatts into the national grid by 2017. Energy Cabinet Secretary Charles Keter says Kenya needs between 1.4 trillion and 1.8 trillion shillings to enable the exploitation of crude oil resources in northern Kenya and scale up the development of renewable energy sources such as solar and wind. Keter said this during a meeting with U.S. Ambassador to Kenya, Robert Godek, who paid him a courtesy call at his Nyayo House office. Meanwhile, sections of Machakos County will experience temporary power interruptions as Kenya Power embarks on upgrading the power grid in and around the county. The project, worth 400 million shillings, will be undertaken over the next six weeks, affecting power supply in Machakos Town, Mavoko, Kadiani, and Masi. Kenya Power's regional manager for Nairobi South Region, engineer Agri Machasio, says the network upgrade will entail replacement and repair works on worn-out poles and power lines. Finally, competition in the regional aviation space is set to go a notch higher as low-cost carrier FastJet begins flights from Tanzania to Kenya on Monday. FastJet will initially operate daily flights between Nairobi, Dar es Salaam and Kilimanjaro under a bilateral air service agreement between Kenya and Tanzania. The low-cost carrier also plans to include Mombasa and Zanzibar routes later this year. FastJet General Manager Jimmy Kibati says the low-cost carrier will introduce the lowest fares in the region as it looks to leverage on the 8 million people that Nairobi and Dar es Salaam host. FastJet Kenya is in the meantime awaiting the approval of an air operator certificate that will allow the British-owned carrier to operate domestic flights. Bella Genga, The Big Question.